In this video we're going to learn how to create an enemy creature and edit its inventory. So I click on File New Creature. And I'll type in something here. So Dragon A. And I'll click uh, click OK. So it comes out with a basic creature. Uh, you can click on the char character. But I'll leave that blank at the minute. Uh, you can choose your class. So I'll just uh, stick with Warrior for the time being because he's quite a simple character. I don't want any conversation with him because he's an enemy. Gender male, you can change it to female obviously. Um, he's neutral at the moment, but because we want him to attack our player, we'll set him to hostile. He's interactive, yes. Inventory, you can change the inventory here. So you click on global, and it's got all the armor, clothing, etc., weapons. I'll just add a weapon to him just to show you what happens. So I'll give him a great sword. I'll add that there. There's two tick boxes here. One is droppable, so if you want the sword to be droppable, tick that. And one is stealable, so if you want it to be stealable, tick that as well. But we'll just leave that blank for now and click OK. It's perception, so that's uh, how close you need to get before you will attack you. So there's a long range, etc. Monster, player, we we'll leave on medium at the moment. He's not a plot giver, so let's leave that to false. Uh, race, obviously you can change race, but we'll leave him as human for the time being. we we'll go down. We'll leave the skills, etc. for now. Obviously you can go into more depth if you need to there, but we'll just keep him with basic abilities. Change the appearance here, so human appearance at the moment. Beard, eye colour, etc. But we leave that just normal. You can edit that to your heart's content. General package type. He's a humanoid melee fighter because he's a warrior. We change his level to 5 because we want him to be sort of generally quite tough. Package. Uh, generic weapon and shield. Package AI weapon shield. So that will automatically sort the AI out for us so we don't need to worry about scripting. Rank. We just have him normal because we don't, don't want him too tough. Rank. We just have him normal because we don't him, don't want him too tough. He's done, so I can click on File Save As. Uh, just type in Gobbledygook Creature Two. Actually, I'll type in Creature Two, and I'll save him to that folder. So he should appear here, and I click OK. There he is, Creature Two. So I click off this in the, up there, go back to my room, and I'll click, uh, I'll go up to new room actually, right click, insert, oops, right click, insert, uh, new test creature object. I'll find him in the list there, so he's creature 2, I'll click OK, and he's spawned into the level. So once the level is exported, uh, and your player character reaches there, and he gets from a certain range, the creature should attack. So we've just covered in this video how to create an enemy creature and edit his inventory and uh, his level etc. Uh, please subscribe, there's some more videos on the way and uh, many thanks to those that already have. Please leave any comments and feedback below the video, I do enjoy reading it. And if you have any questions feel free to message me on my account or just leave a comment. And good luck with the, good luck with the tool set.